Hey everyone, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my daily scent of the day video. I'm going to keep today's video very short because I am hoping that you will go check out shortly after this one posts three different videos on the same topic. I did a collaboration with two fabulous ladies here on YouTube, Gabby at The Fragrantition and Marcy at Marcelena Teresa. And our focus is white florals. The topic is the real housewives who sniff. Sniff perfumes, that is, not that other stuff. And we're focusing this episode on some of our favorite, favorite <clears throat> white floral fragrances. So that will post in just a little bit, one on Gabby's channel, one on mine, and one on Marcy's. And I certainly hope you will go check them all out. If you're not subscribed to Marcy and to Gabby, I hope you will consider doing that. There are two of my favorite humans here on YouTube. There's a fabulous circle of really, really lovely reviewers. Uh, and I just adore them and think they are fabulous people. So fun to watch and uh, love, love, love hearing about their fragrance collections. So today's fragrance of the day is one that I have not seen talked about on YouTube at all, at least not in the videos I have watched. <clears throat> and it is Eau de Moselle by Givenchy. So I came across this on FragranceNet in my rabbit hole journeys on there where I'm clicking on one thing and I see other recommendations and things like that uh, and follow those and then all of a sudden decide I have to have every perfume in the entire universe. <laughs> this one had really outstanding reviews and I got super curious and felt like I just had to bring it into my collection. I'm so glad that I did. This is a lovely, 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 well, year-round fragrance but super fantastic for spring and summer this is light it is uplifting it is refreshing it is floral it is uh, dainty and lovely all at the same time in the opening here you get a lovely burst of lemon tangerine and basil so it's this slightly herbaceous but very citrusy opening but you also get the florals immediately upon opening which are rose and a lang lang <clears throat> at least according to fragrantica in the base is in the base rather it's a tonka bean uh, musk and i think it's ambrette if i'm not mistaken so a nice sweet round uh, luscious base if you will this smells to me very much like fresh gardens. Beautiful flowers when they first bloom, like going through a botanical garden and getting whiffs off of freshly bloomed flowers. It is gorgeous and very much on the um, female side of the spectrum. Uh, I just love this. It's a little treasure in my collection that I would not have known about had I not gone, gone down those rabbit holes. So that's Eau de Moselle uh, from Givenchy. Definitely highly recommend it. It's a very, very strong like maybe into the love category. And I'll also be posting later today my week in review video where I share with you the fragrances that I've worn for the week, my ratings of them, and then do a little awards show just for fun. So Eau de Moselle, both a citrusy and herbaceous floral fragrance. Get this. This is lovely. Take care, friends.